So the 12th, I do have that scheduled for 8 o'clock in the At morning. At the London and District Distress Center, staff and volunteers spend most of their day on the phone. Okay, great. Thank but staffers great. like Ashley Vella are doing more than just chatting. The center has a 24-hour confidential distress line that runs 365 days a year. It aims to serve the London community by talking about problems that are often silenced. With 130 volunteers, the Distress Centre is dedicated to being available to those in crisis at any time. So we do not offer advice, we do not offer counselling, but we are that support in between. So if they're having a rough day, if they need to talk about what's bothering them, sometimes um, a lot of our callers don't have anyone else that they can talk to about this or they've exhausted their own social supports. So we're always here to listen and often that's what we find. Most people just need someone to hear their story, just need someone to listen to them, and that's what we do. The center is run entirely by non-professional volunteers who are trained to lend support without being judgmental. I would say that um, you can't define what might be a crisis for somebody else, that everybody deals with their own issues, and one person's problem might seem much larger to them than it would to somebody else, but everybody has their own issues, and their own level of crisis, so it just depends on the person. It's that individual approach that makes the distress line an inviting option for many locals. And with over 400 suicide calls received in 2010, the center's empathetic mission seems to be paying off. Because a lot of times that's all someone needs, is just that extra support and someone just to listen to them. And I really feel that what we do here makes a huge difference in many people's lives, and I've seen it. I've heard it. The London and District Distress Centre received almost 18,000 calls last year, and with the recent launch of their crisis response line, they're expecting those numbers to rise. The Distress Centre is always looking for volunteers, so if you're interested, you can check out their website at londondistresscentre.com. For London Under 30, I'm Devin Murphy.